Hey guys, can you believe it? I am 35 weeks pregnant. I think that's right, 35 weeks. Um, I'm really excited, I am feeling good. I'm five weeks out. I don't know if you can tell, my voice is a little nasty because we. I got this cold. I can feel it's a little raspy, maybe you guys can't tell. Just had an appointment on Friday that was really, really fun. Baby, you okay? Come here, baby, hold my hand. Oh, go that oh. way. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> like I said before, I love going to doctor's appointments and just getting that little update on our baby boy. And this one was the same. It was just really good. We got to ask a lot of questions. It was the last appointment um, that we are going to be able to go to before we go to Arizona for the holidays. So it was so it was really important to me to like make sure I had all the questions lined up that I wanted to ask before we left to go out of town. Let's talk baby names. What do you got? Go you still haven't. Okay. <laughs> he says I need to be devoting an hour a day to baby name research. We don't have a lot of baby names lined up yet. We're in the process of that. So like I said, my doctor just had a baby and so I've been kind of like rotating through other doctors like that have been on standby for her. And so this week I had another different doctor to go to, um, but he was really great and he made me feel really comfortable and it was nice. So having your OB gone and working with other OBs while you're pregnant. It's not like my favorite thing to do, but it's been fine for me. So if any of you guys are scared of that happening to you, don't worry. Most OBGYNs are nice people and understanding, so. The baby's measuring just right at about 35 weeks. He, the do This doctor said that he seems to just be very average size. This doctor's appointment really like reassured me that I'll probably be okay until we get home from Christmas. We'll be in Arizona for a couple weeks, we'll come home and then the baby can come. I'm really excited to go home and see my sister Carly because she is just a couple weeks behind me in her pregnancy, in her first pregnancy. So I'm excited to see her and I'm hoping to do some kind of a bump date with her. And actually, my sister-in-law, I have two sister-in-laws who are pregnant as well, my one on Zach's side and then my brother's wife, she is expecting a little baby girl and so there's just babies everywhere right now. Do you guys feel like everyone's having a baby? Babies are the best. Oh, and Zach's brother's wife, they found out they're having a boy. So another rough boy and two porter girls. The hardest part about this time of my pregnancy right now is that really none of my clothes fit me. I went to Old Navy this week and got like a couple of shirts and I need to get some new pants and stuff. Like none of my clothes fit me this time around. My first couple of pregnancies, I could get away with wearing like some of my jeans for most of my pregnancy, if not the whole thing. So this time around, not my favorite. I got this sweater from Old Navy. I think it might be actually too big. <laughs> I'm not very good at shopping. A couple of weird like body issues that I've had. Well, one the last couple of months, I have like something in my lower back that is just killing me and it feels like it's that when I would twist around and crack my back, that's what it wants to do, but I can't twist around enough to get it. Um, so I went to a chiropractor yesterday, kind of a weird chiropractor, and he cracked it for me. So it is feeling a little bit better, but it's kind of like a muscle thing too, so I kind of want to get like a back massage of some kind to fix that. I'm also getting like Charlie horses in like my groin area. Is that too much information? So that's been interesting and I asked the doctor about that and he just said it's a circulation thing, it's a eating healthy thing, it's a drinking water thing, and so it, it's normal and all I can do really is try and be healthier. Um, I need to be better at eating my, or taking my prenatals because that's supposed to help a lot with all these issues that I'm having. I am terrible at taking my prenatals. See, so yeah, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling, Zach? I'm feeling good too. I'm like really excited and I'm really anxious to like figure out a name for this baby because we haven't really like thought about it too Joey much. Donuts. We're not naming him Joey Donuts. <laughs> um, I have a few that I like. I don't think Tara like loves them. But yeah, I'm feeling really excited. Um, it'd be awesome actually, kind of if the baby came early-ish because then like I'm on a three week break right now from school and I could like really spend some time with you guys. But anyway, it's going good. Look at me, I'm putting my shoes on by myself. Ta-da! Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you liked this bump date today and I'm hoping to do uh, quite a, a couple more before this baby comes and then I'm excited to have the baby here and be able to just update you on the actual like baby. He'll be here in my arms. It'll be so fun. Thanks for following these bump dates you guys and thank you for all your supportive comments and, and kind words. It really um, uplifts me and helps me to feel just very, very happy and excited about this baby. I hope you guys have a great week um, and a great Christmas and we'll see you later. Bye!